Hello and welcome to the My School Adventure podcast. My guest today is Emily Yates, naturopath, nutritionist and a school parent at Kensington Public School where they run a wonderful program called Organic Veggie Box in Schools. And she's here today to tell us all about it. Welcome to the show, Emily. Thank you, Hello. Melanie. I'm so excited to be here. It's um, such an incredible initiative. I, I um, am so passionate about talking about it because I think it's in everyone's school. <laughs> Thank you. Well, could you start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Just a, a quick potted history. Yeah, so I suppose... Um, I'm a naturopath, a nutritionist. Um, I had a spectacular um, crash with burnout at a very early age, at 21, and I was taught to um, use medicine as um, food as medicine and heal myself. And I came through um, glandular fever and chronic fatigue at a, um, the age of 21. And um, that very day that I saw my family naturopath, I decided to quit law, which is what I was doing at the time, and dive into a degree in naturopathy. And so I practiced all around the eastern suburbs for about, I think, 12 years. I mean, my 12th year of practice this year. But I suppose um, it was all really exciting, but then it was really, really even more exciting and it deepened when I had my children. So my mm -hmm. first baby was born eight years ago. He's eight now. And then when, it was, when I was applying it to my beautiful newborn baby, it just felt even more important. So, yeah, yeah, I feel like it's it does. to have a level of nutrition and nutritional understanding within our schools. I think it should be in the curriculum, actually. <laughs> and that's what's led you to be a part of the Organic Veggie Box program at your school. Um, now, I just quickly describe Kensington Public School. It's a government school in the eastern suburbs of Sydney. And... Yeah. Um, and we, we think it has about 300 students. So it's a small to medium sized school. So I can just ask you to talk about the program. Um, we might start with how long um, Kensington Public School has been involved in the Veggie Box program. And if you could describe exactly like what happens. Yeah, so we uh, met Dave almost a year ago, um, about last March. And what needs to happen in the school is the PNC needs to pass a motion to say that they're um, supportive of the program, which is basically wholesale organic produce that comes to the school. Mm -hmm. And you pick up your box of vegetables at wholesale prices, organic vegetables, um, with your child. So it's a co-op, it's non-for-profit. And so it, um, and their boxes get delivered every Thursday. It's, um, a beautiful initiative because it brings the community together so people um, who want to get involved all meet about 10 to 3 and we help um, kind of divide all the boxes up that get delivered by the truck which are just pallets of apples, pallets of broccoli, pallets of cauliflower and we chop all that up and divide it all up into the boxes of the people that have ordered that week and you pick your box up with, with your child. So. I heard about it by a mutual friend of mine and Dave's and I immediately got in contact with Dave because it's like, this is so needed. We need to make it really easy for mums because it's all well and good to give them this big spiel about how they need to feed their children um, good organic produce, but it's difficult to access and, and has the notion that it's, and it can be more expensive. So it cut out all of those blocks for me. I was like, wow, let's do this. So very supportive of the program from the very start. So it probably took a few three or four months until we actually got it into the school. And um, we've probably, I reckon probably six months we've been running the program. Okay. And how many families do you have um, participating in it, in the program? So we, um, we would have anywhere between five to 12 boxes every week of people. It's a bit bigger at the larger schools. There's a few um, issues that we're dealing with at the moment with people that work full time and don't necessarily pick their child up at three. There's oh. also a really large community of non-English speaking. So the newsletters aren't necessarily getting to the people, but we're working on all of that. And the school's really supportive of um, getting some bilingual, you know, newsletters out there and stuff like that so that we can educate a little bit more. But we feel like the more that we continue with it, the more momentum it'll grab. And a lot of Miss Stone, the principal, is fantastic and she's been right behind it. She came from a school a bit further out um, in the eastern suburbs that had its own veggie garden and chickens and all that kind of 
kind of stuff. So she's mm. very much behind, which is so great. So it's that's the hardest part is getting the principal on board. So and she's very much on board. Okay, so if we go back to the just the, the program itself, um, how you were talking about like the palette comes in. Palettes are like really huge. Yeah. <laughs> are they are they big? How how big are the Palette's probably the wrong word. The way it arrives is off the back of the truck and the truck driver obviously doesn't divide it up into the boxes. So we work out how many people are having a box that, that month, that week, and we divide up, you know, everything into the boxes so that everyone gets equal amount. Sometimes we're chopping watermelons in half or quarters, depending on how many we get. And the really exciting thing is that you get something different every week and something that you wouldn't normally cook with. We got um, fennel last week, which I don't necessarily buy, but the kids loved it. I sliced it into a um, salad and they were like, oh my God, what's this, mommy? That's so great. Um, we got beetroots the week before. So we did a whole recipes with beetroots to get like a chocolate slice, including beetroot. Um, yeah, so that was, it's really cool because you get creative and you, you learn to try different recipes and it's really cool when the kids love it. And you want to use everything in the box, don't you? So you are, you are compelled to try different recipes. So yeah. can I ask um, how much you're saying it was cheaper than buying organics at the supermarket? How much cheaper um, is it? And yeah. and how do people, um, how do the families order like every week? Do, do you have to order a box every week or um, you can just order whenever you like? No, there's a, options to order when you need it. So we have some smaller families, just one parent, one child, and they will take two weeks to get through the box. We're a family of five and three boys. So we actually get a box from elsewhere and then a box and then the My Organic School box, we need two. Yes. So I would, it's really interesting because we, from other places delivered, the same box is about $80 and the My Organic School is 55. Wow. So it's yeah. quite a saving. Um, and that's that comes perfectly for us on a Thursday because we've usually gone through all of our fresh produce by the weekend shop buy the box that arrives on Monday and then we're, we're eating, we're going through the, the other one on Thursdays. Yeah. Um, okay. So I understand that it's not just about buying a box of organic veggies. There's another side of the program that's about building a kitchen garden at school and having lessons. Um, yes. Would you be able to explain that? Yeah. So Dave and his interns have put in hundreds of hours of work into this incredible curriculum which will be rolled out in schools any school that has the um, organic co-op will receive this cur curriculum and it's a 10 to 12 week program where it's getting children out into the gardens and starting their own vegetable beds at school and how do they do that the teachers will get training and the students will have classes outside and one of the things that happened for me as a mum when I um, Sunny started school, my eight-year-old, was I just couldn't believe the amount of time they spent inside. Um, and when you know about vitamin D and how much they need to be outside and moving and connected to nature, it just really excited me to, to think that he would be able to do some classes outside um, and get his hands in the dirt and understand where all those vegetables come from. And I talk till I'm blue in the face to run lots of workshops around how do we get our children to eat vegetables? Mm. And one of the main points is get them involved in the process. All my kids have knives that don't won't cut skin but will cut vegetables and they sit up on the bench with me and they chop and they're much more likely to eat something that they've created themselves or that they've seen grown as well. We have um, mint in, the, in our garden that just goes crazy and my two-year-old just comes and grabs handfuls of it and eats it. And mint generally is like quite bitter and I'm always thinking, oh, is he going to like that? But he loves it because it's just, he knows he can eat it and it's right there and... Yeah. So it's super cool, I just think. And a lot of, you know, they've done studies mostly in America where children think that food comes from a grocery store. <laughs> and, you know, we need to really, if we're going to teach them how to nourish themselves, then we're going to need to teach them how to grow their own vegetables and have that available at home. And even when you're in an apartment, you know, you can have little herb gardens just on your windowsill. It's just, it just doesn't yeah. have to be when you've got acres of land. Um, so it really excited me, that curriculum, and I can't wait till Dave. Dave's going to roll that out in the next couple of months, actually. So that's super exciting and so exciting for the health of our children and our planet.
<laughs> so I was going to ask how many classes have already done it, but you haven't actually got to that point yet. Yeah. It's still in the making. So it's been promised to the schools that have the, um, the, the, but you never, you always underestimate the amount of work that goes into something yeah. like that. And it's astounding. Like they design their own um, veggie bed with worksheets and then they design what they're going to put in there. So they're drawing it, coloring it in. So many things they're learning from doing that. And then they get to the seed part where they get to seed and watch it grow and water and all the things that cultivate the soil and all those great things that we all need to learn. And will every child in the school um, get to participate, even if their family doesn't buy a box of veggies? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's for everybody. Totally, absolutely, yeah. 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 That, sounds, that sounds really great. I, I really, really like this idea. I really agree that kids should be in the garden and learning where their food comes from, about rainfall, climate change. Um, I'm, I'm totally with you there. So I think it's a great initiative. Um, so I also read on the website that um, part of the profit, um, what, it's a not-for-profit scheme, but there is a small fundraising component in the built into the um, box price that goes back into um, subsidising the kitchen garden building. Yeah. yeah. Is that correct? So that goes into building the veggie beds, the soil, mm -hmm. the, the construction that needs to happen to get the beds into the school. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of materials involved in that. So yeah, the funds, mm -hmm. there's, yeah, I'm not sure the, the breakdown, but um, most, there is a percentage of the funds that go back into that. Exactly. And have you built, have you saved up enough from the fundraising to build um, gardens yet? And if you have, how many? Well, that's interesting, actually. We have, um, I'm not sure where we're at in Kensing with Kensington. I know Bronte have, hmm. Bronte Public School, one of the other schools. Um, I know you have some already because we go there um, sometimes to your school, but um, I know you have veggie gardens already in place. Yeah. Yeah. Fabulous um, teacher there that drives that initiative. We have bees now and we have compost and we have um, hanging gardens at the school, which is so great because it's a very concrete based school. There's not a lot of green space, but it's being created, which is so exciting. Miss Fredman is amazing. She's the drama teacher there and she's really behind all the sustainability. <laughs> So what's the um, level of support by the parents and the teachers? You said the principal's really behind it, but what do the teachers and generally the school community think about both, both schemes? Yeah, both the, the box and the lessons. Yeah, they're all behind it. I think um, the like missing piece in the wheel at the moment is actually the training. So um, Dave's sorted that out, but they, the teachers need obviously training on it. That, and, even myself, I'm a herbalist and I'm like, we call ourselves a brown bottle herbalist because the herbs come straight out of the brown bottle that we buy them from, from our supplier. Can I grow a herb? Not really. And that's my next project is to get better at that. So I think some adults can find it a little bit overwhelming, even if they are passionate about good food. Mm. So um, Dave's got a bit of a program in there, which the interns will be teaching the, the teachers kind of where to start with it all. Um, so yeah. Hopefully we'll see some really good, um, a lot of support once that program starts to roll out. And as the, are you the chief coordinator for your school that liaises with Organic Veggie Box? Yeah, yeah, me and Anna. So there's another volunteer there and we've both got three kids. So we kind of tag team because sometimes things happen, life happens and we can't be there. So um, yeah, me and Anna are the chief coordinators. And how much time do you think it takes you per week to do all this is it a big like um you know chunk of your time minutes, no about 20 minutes to half an hour so we worked out so we'd get a volunteer every now and then helping us and because we only have kind of 12 boxes it's a bit more for bronte they're up to like 30 35 boxes mm. um but we will get there about 10 to 3 and we'd have it pretty much packed for that for everyone to kind of pick up their child pick up their box and then once we've cleaned up and gotten rid of all the le extra leaves that we've chopped off, about quarter past three, we're kind of done. Gosh, that, yeah, that's very yeah. quick, if that's all. Yeah. Because the parents order online and you just do the chopping and the cleaning up. Yep. Totally. Parents that's order online, quick. the labels get printed out, Anna prints the labels and then we just label each box and then just load it in. Yeah, that's great. I, I, I was surprised it would take so long. Have you been involved in any other veggie box co-op um, apart from this one, like in the in the running of it? And if you have, do you find this 
easier? Um, yeah, look, I was a member of the Blue Mountains Co-op. I grew up up there and um, they required lots of volunteer work and I think it was eight to ten hours every couple of months and that was kind of difficult when I mm. had children. So, um, yeah, it's it's minimal really for what you get to get a box of $55. It's really cool. yeah. Thank you so much. Um, that's pretty much the end of all my questions. <laughs> um, unless you have anything else that you might like to add. Um, I did, yeah, I do. And so there's just one other point. A lot of people got confused when we first started it that it's only for the students of the school and actually it's not. What um, our, our, the wider community are also able to order. So um, if you live in the area and you can walk to the school and you're available at three o'clock on Thursday, actually you can also um, pick it up later on in the night. The gates close at 6 p.m. at Kensington. So you can get it from any time between three and six or Friday morning if that works better for you. But yeah, people from the wider community can also order a box. They don't have to be just Kensington students. Mm. Yeah. No, I love the idea of, of organic veggies and, and having the school as the centre of the community, not just for the students, but, but the wider. I thought that was a really great idea. So thank you very much for, for joining me today. And if um, listeners would like to know more about my organic schools, um, organic veggie box and outdoor gardening education program, uh, where can they go to find out more? to do would be to either go to my organic school website or email dave at admin at myorganicschool.com and if they would like to find out more about your naturopathic or nutritionist services emily would you like to tell everyone so sure. they can find you thanks melanie yeah so um i'm practice on bronte road in queens park so um i'm local to most of the eastern suburbs and i've been practicing for 12 years and my clinic is um uh uh, been functioning for about 12 years and I am my website is emilyrosyates.com um, and you can find out how to book um, I, I run lots of online programs if you're not in if you don't want a one-on-one -on -one consult um, but my website's emilyrosyates.com and it's all on there and I have quite an active uh, Insta and Facebook page where I'm sharing a whole lot of stuff that I'm doing with my kids lunch boxes and easy quick tips um, so that's also worth following too that's that's great because we all need the lunchbox um, sorted out. It's so difficult. Um, oh, that that's it for today. Thank you very much, Emily. Emily, thanks so much.